before this video starts, I just want to say make sure you watch to the end of the video because I will be tackling all the pros and cons of getting a football visor. What's going on guys? Today we are going to be doing should I get a football visor? Now I have the Under Armour football visor right here. This is just a normal football visor. Um, but we are going to be asking should you get this so i'm doing a pros and cons make sure you watch to the end because i would be doing the full pros and cons of this um football visor so i do not run a visor on my football helmet but i know some of the things from experience that some people do like and some people that don't like about football visors um it's it's not that big of a decision but it is for some people but today we're just going to be going into depth of what you should expect so first, we're going over the pros of a football visor. Um, also, I know it's Christmas time is coming around, so if you want to get your child for lacrosse or for football, you can get your uh, son a visor for their helmet. Um, or if you're looking for, to get it for your brother or whatever, you can get a football visor for that person, and we're going to be tackling that question today. So, first, the pros of a football visor. Um... One of it is safety, so when you're on the field, like dirt and like turf pellets, or, like those little black turf pellets are flying your way. If you have a football visor, then you, they block that or they shield your eyes from getting turf pellets in your eyes. Um, personally, that hasn't happened too often to me, um, but it's just one of those things that you can, that can happen. And if you want to prevent that, then you can get a football visor. Um... But also, um, a big thing that happens is that people, sometimes their fingers can go through your helmet and go towards your eyes. And so if, you're, if, you, want, if you want to protect yourself from that, you can get, you can get a, a visor. But um, it, that doesn't happen too often at a younger level. I've heard stories of people in the NFL that have gotten their eyes poked out because people try to like, poke out their eyes like, in the bottom of a tackling pile which is really mean and not you should not do that. But that does happen and some people do get a football uh, do get a visor because of that. Um also it does look really cool. People can get the shock visor. I did a shock chrome to one overview on my channel about like nine months ago or eight months ago or something. And so um on that review it was a shock it was like a chrome football visor. And so it was actually a really cool review. That like shock makes like awesome football visors they're like tie-dyed and purple and blue and all that stuff the visors look actually look really cool i choose to not get one though um but yeah and then also one of the prices of the price of this is 50 dollars, which is not pocket change for some of us so that is definitely a price point that cannot be cannot be affordable for most people um, but if you want to invest your money in this kind of thing because you think it's what you want, then sure, go for it. But honestly, I did not go for this. I didn't think it was worth it. And um, now we're going over the cons of the football visor. So the cons of this is one of them I have heard that you're, well, I've seen that your um, football visor fogs up, especially in cold conditions. So when it's really cold outside and like the air is really moist and... Um, you could just you get a really fogged up football, uh, really fogged up visor, and it's really hard to see. So people complain about that a lot too, and that is one of the cons of having a visor. And then another con is that um, I heard airflow isn't as good when you're breathing and running. You're panting a lot, and it's really hard to breathe sometimes when you're running because airflow is just cut off because you're not having all that circulation through the front of your helmet. So I've heard airflow isn't as good with a visor. So that's one of the things that I would like um, warn you guys about if you're trying to get a visor. Um, and then also it gets scratched up. So tiny scratches in like near your eyes on the, on the visor, especially when you get hit in the head. Uh, tiny scratches on like the uh, part of the eye is hard to see more. It's very annoying. I've heard so many people complain on my football team about like their eyes being like slashed and like cuts in your visor and it's and it can get cracked it's very uh, unlikely for it to get cracked but it can get cracked um and then also like you just have to spend money for another thing 
Um, that's another con of having a visor. You just have to spend fifty more dollars, which is definitely something that you don't want to spend just out of nowhere um, for nothing. So that's definitely one of the other things that um, that would happen. So if you would like to get a football visor, uh, this is a great one. A lot of people at my football team have the Under Armour one. This is just a normal Under Armour football visor. I got this off of Amazon. But then also Shock makes really good football visors if you like those kind of tinted ones that have cool colors and designs. Um, those aren't allowed in some leagues. So if you were trying to get one of those, um, you have to make sure your league is okay with it. Because in my league, you can only have a clear one. That's the only one that's allowed if you're getting a visor. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that was a fo this is a f the pros and cons a of a football visor. And I know Christmas is coming up. If you would like to get a visor, that's fine. But personally, I do not recommend getting a visor. It's just more money that you have to spend on something new. And it does get scratched up, fogged, and you can't breathe as well. So the cons are worse and the pros are good. So the pros aren't as good as the cons are bad. And um, that's just... That's just my opinion. I know a lot of people have other stuff to say. But um, if you guys enjoyed this and this was helpful, make sure you leave a like on this video. You guys can subscribe. I know my comments are disabled. They have this new feature on YouTube where you can't comment on videos with kids in it, which is kind of frustrating, but I understand it at the same time. But if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.